my basic items the main ingredient is the egusi this is the egusi this is what egusi looks like when you've not blended it but this is already blended i'm using stock fish because i said it's going to be native so i decided to use roasted chicken this is roasted chicken and that is cow skin we call it pomo in africa i have of course um the crayfish I have the tomatoes for your egusi. You don't really need a lot of tomatoes. I have tomatoes and peppers. I have, of course, I'm using dried pumpkin leaf. And I'll be adding a bit of dry bitter leaf leaf just for a touch. This is the bitter leaf leaf. Then I have my salt, my palm oil, as you can see. That's about it. Because it's native, I'm going to be using onions to make it thick. The ball, if you want to have the ball, the ball like on um, a goosey soup, you have to use a lot of onions. Let's get into the cooking right away. Right now, I want to blend my tomatoes and pepper together. That's the first thing to do. That's my blended tomatoes. Heat up your or palm oil. After frying your onions for a while, you pour your pepper into it and let your pepper cook. Let it cook for a while. This is what your pepper should look like. This is what it should look like. You see it? This way you know that it's ready. It's ready for you to pour other things into it. Don't be in a hurry when frying your tomato sauce for your egusi soup. Make sure you fry it very, very dry. By so doing, your egusi soup will not get sour easily. So at this stage, I'm going to pour in my blended crayfish. I blended my crayfish with water, so I added a lot of water. So that's my blended crayfish. Pour it into it and stir it a bit. Stir it a bit. At this stage, you can pour your meat stock. Pour your meat stock into it. Pour your meat stock at this stage. Pour your meat stock. Be careful about the water. Be careful. Make sure your water goes with your egusi soup. At this stage, you pour your meat stock and you pour your stock fish. This is my stock fish. You pour your stock fish. You pour your stock fish. Add your maggi and salt to taste and allow it to cook for a while. Pour your cows. No, pour only your stock fish for now cook for like 15 minutes in the sauce before you pour your chicken and your cow skin note that i already parboiled my cow my stock fish with hot water so i just need to cook for like 15 minutes to make it very very soft you don't want to have stock fish that you can't chew in your soup <laughs> so my stock fish is still cooking it's not soft yet it's still cooking that's cooked for like 10 minutes I'm going to leave it to cook for more five minutes. While it's cooking, I'll be preparing my egusi. This is my egusi, and I'm going to blend the onions. For you to have seed egusi, you have to use onions. I'm using two onions. I'll blend the onions inside. Then I have to remember to put water in my dry ugu. I'm using dry ugu and a pinch of bitter leaf. If you are using fresh ugu, there's no need to do that. Just wash it and keep it aside. Then, don't forget to add your maggi. Maggi is very important. I'm using two maggi chicken. Two maggi chicken. Add a bit of salt to taste. Be careful. Be careful with your salt. I think that's enough for now. So now I'm going to pour my roasted chicken and my cow skin. That's my cow skin. And this is my roasted chicken. Stay together. I think we'll be needing more water. We'll be needing more water. I'm cooking large quantity, that's why, so don't mind. I'll add more water. And that's my egusi. I'm still grating my onions. I'll show you what it looks like later to get the seed. So this is it now. I've added everything to it. My stock, my cow skin, my chicken, roasted chicken. And this is my egusi. I've prepared it. I've grated my onions. And things are going to become a little bit messy now because I'll be using my hand to form the balls. I'll be using my hand to form the balls. 
So this is it. I'm going to leave it to cook for like five, seven minutes while I prepare my ugu and bitter leaf to put inside. Yummy! It's loading, loading. The goose is loading for real. It's cooking, but not there yet. At this stage, you can pour your dried ugu or your fresh ugu. Then stay together. Stay together and leave it to cook on a low heat. Leave it to cook on a low heat. So that's it. You have your egg roasting soup. Can you see it? Can you see the ball? And the yam is ready. That's your egusi soup and pounding yam. Enjoy. <laughs> That's it, your pounding yam and egusi soup. Our table is set, so I'm just going to step down with water. Just water.